Good morning, I'm Lloyd Fitzgibbon. It's 10 o'clock. Tests are being carried out on a bone which was found in County Loud last night to determine if it's human or not. The discovery was made on the Haven Beach at Baltre in Drogheda and the suspected leg bone was removed by the Drogheda Coast Guard. Gardaí say they're investigating the discovery and a technical, uh, technical exam is underway. A 29-year-old man is due back in court this morning after being charged with the murder of Kevin Sheehy in Limerick. The 20-year-old boxer was killed in a hit-and-run in the city on the 1st of July. Logan Jackson, who has an address at Longford Road in Coventry, England, appeared before Limerick District Court last week. Judge Marion O'Leary remanded him in custody to Limerick Prison until today's sitting. The Taunashta says just because the country is prepared for every Brexit scenario, it doesn't mean it's going to be okay. Cabinet is being briefed on three separate Brexit planning memos this morning. It's after Simon Coveney warned that the risk of the UK leaving the EU without a deal has never been higher. Speaking on the way into Cabinet, Minister Coveney says work will continue to prevent a no-deal scenario. There has been an enormous amount of work put in place to prepare us for all Brexit scenarios. But that being said, that doesn't mean it's going to be OK. A no-deal Brexit will be very challenging. Uh, it'll put huge strain on certain sectors in the Irish economy. It will perhaps be, be most damaging for Northern Ireland. And we, of course, want to work to ensure that a no-deal doesn't happen. The housing assistant payment contains a number of design flaws which need to be reformed. That's according to a new survey from Charities Threshold and St Vincent de Paul, which found 1 in 10 were spending more than 40% of their income on rent. Almost half of those paying a top-up as well as receiving HAP payments say they're struggling to pay bills, buy groceries and covering childcare and school costs. There have been some movements that have surprised me, though, I'd say. Journalism, for example, has decreased significantly. But I'd say a lot of people are choosing to do primary general degrees and then specialise um, in, in particular professional areas. There has been a rise in the number of students applying to study STEM subjects in college. The CEO has said this year science, technology, engineering and maths courses were more popular than in previous years. Humanities, languages and environmental courses were also extremely popular. Councillor Tyndall College in Carlow, Gemma Lawler, says it seems more people are picking general primary degrees. I'm Lloyd Fitzgibbon and that's all the news for now. More news updates at 10, but coming right up is the sports news with Daniel O'Sullivan. D103 Sport Dustin Jones is to play at the J.P. Mac McManus Pro Am at Adair Manor in Limerick in July of next year. The world number two, a former U.S. Open champion, will line up in the event to benefit charities in the Midwest. Already confirmed are Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson, Justin Rose and celebrities Niall Horan and Mark Wahlberg. Adair Manor is seen as a contender to host the 2026 Ryder Cup. Carry forward James O'Donoghue O'Donoh- will be fit for the Super 8 showdown against Mayo in Killarney on Sunday. The Legion player missed the Munster final win over Cork with a hamstring injury. The match at Fitzgerald Stadium will be a sellout with capacity just under 30,000. It's women's quarter final day at Wimbledon. First up on centre court, the seven time champion Serena Williams face Alison Risk. Risque. Following them will be the meeting of Joe Canto, Joe Canto, Ganta, and Barbara Strykova, Strytsova. Oh, over on court number one, seven seed Simona Halep will take on oh Zhang Zhui. The then Elena Siva Tolena, the eight seed, faces Carl, Carlina Mukova. Um, Julian Ala Filippi wears the leader's yellow jersey for stage four of the Tour de France into Nancy Noni with Dan, Dan Martin on even minute behind on general classification. An action at Roscommon continues this evening with the first of seven race card going to post six. That's all from me. More sports updates after the news at 11 on Z103. D103 Sport. That was hard going. Well, welcome to.